I'm passionate about the energy transition because by constructing uh, hydrogen infrastructure, I think I can really make a difference in decarbonizing uh, our fuel products and mobility. I'm excited because uh, I see change happen every day while working on the Holland Hydrogen One project. Lars Groenendaal, welcome. You're a hydrogen business and project development manager at Shell. Can you elaborate a little bit more on what you're working on? Well, I'm working on uh, what we see behind, uh, behind us right here. Um, the development of the first and uh, largest electrolyzer in Europe, a 200 megawatt uh, green hydrogen uh, facility. Uh, we just uh, started the construction uh, a couple of weeks ago and it's uh, the first electrolyzer here in the uh, energy conversion park. So the focusing on hydrogen is quite a shift for Shell. Um, can you uh, elaborate a little bit more about the future vision from Shell uh, on being active in the hydrogen market? So um, Shell believes in the energy transition and we uh, think hydrogen is going to play a large role in decarbonizing our fuel products and decarbonizing mobility. So we uh, have started uh, actively uh, developing in the, in the green hydrogen market. We already have a uh, 10 megawatt uh, green hydrogen plant in Germany. We have a 20 megawatt plant in China. And this here is going to be the next uh, step up, a 200 megawatt uh, green electrolyzer here in, uh, in the Netherlands. And we, we believe it's going to up to the, to the gigawatt scale because demand is going to be, be huge, but it's also hugely important uh, to decarbonize uh, our fuel products and decarbonize mobility for, for our customers. Yeah, so this will remain a very important focus for Shell in the future. Uh, absolutely, yeah. 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 Um, so talking about hydrogen, uh, what are for you the, the must win battles to achieve the vision of, uh, of a hydrogen economy? Um, well, talking particularly about uh, this, this plant here is uh, the, a couple of things. It's the, the scale up. Like I said, it's, it's a huge step up from, from what we have uh, going. We need to learn uh, first how to, to build it, then how to operate it, and then how to produce uh, hydrogen safely. So that's going to be a huge challenge. But in the meantime, there's going to be a whole ecosystem of other uh, yeah, hydrogen developments here. There needs to be a regulatory framework built around it. We need to collaborate actually with all the parties uh, uh, to make all this happen. Otherwise, uh, we don't succeed. And I think we can only succeed through all this collaboration. Um, Shell has a big presence in Rotterdam. We're here in Rotterdam today. Um, how can Shell be a driver for creating a sustainable industrial ecosystem in the entire region? So you already said you work with a lot of partners. Yeah, yeah. So we work with a lot of partners, but particularly here on the on the conversion park is that because we are the first, we really mm -hmm. enable a lot of the uh, infrastructure capability of the conversion park. For instance, the the power connection that is needed for the for the electrolyzer shells taking the lead in developing that. Um, yeah, by being the first, it, it helps to others to fast follow as well, if I speak uh, just about hydrogen. And of course, there's like, like a lot of other uh, initiatives in the region as well on, on sustainability. Yeah. In general, uh, what makes Rotterdam such a unique example for Europe's energy transition? I think uh, Rotterdam is the ideal place to start the energy transition because everything comes together here. We got, uh, yeah, the supply and the demand, uh, so the, the production and the customers in one place. So it's it's a unique spot to build all the infrastructure, and it's going to really uh, be a massive uh, example for uh, for Europe. Thank you very much, Lise.